Welcome to our lecture online and here we're going to do an example where we have a six slit interference pattern. The distance between the slits is 0.1 millimeter and the angle away from the central maximum position is 0 0.02 degrees. So what will be the intensity at that location on the screen or at that angle relative to the central maximum? So again, we're going to have some sort of, oh, that's too many slits. Let me redo that. Okay, so we have a situation where we have one, two, three, four, five, six slits like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, yep, there we go. And so the, the position on there would be at an angle of 0 0.2 degrees. So that would be theta equals 0 0.02 degrees. And we want to find out wherever that is on the screen, we want to find out what the intensity is of that pattern. With a six slit interference pattern, the intensity of the central max, I, will be equal to 6 squared times I sub naught, which is equal to 36 times I sub naught. We still haven't expressed or found an expression for the value of I sub naught. Well, we have it over here, but we haven't actually calculated it yet. In the next video, we'll actually go ahead and show you how to calculate what I sub naught is equal to. Right now, we're just going to find the intensity all in terms of I sub naught and we'll show you later how to find actually I sub naught. So, how are we going to do that? Well, first we need to find the phase angle, and the phase angle can be found by using this approach right here. We can say that phi, the phase angle, is equal to the ratio of the exit distance traveled divided by the wavelength. When we talk about the exit distance traveled, we talk about this value right here, extra distance, which is equal to d times the sine of theta. d would be the distance between two adjacent slits, and theta would be this angle, which is the same as this angle right there. So that gives us the opposite side to that little triangle right there. And so we can say that would be this times, of course, 360 degrees, which is one complete phase. It'll be the fraction of a phase. Okay, the extra distance traveled, therefore, is equal to d sine theta divided by lambda times 360 degrees. I guess one more thing that we need in this, in this uh, problem is we need to, the wavelength. So let's say the wavelength is equal to 500 nanometers, which is 500 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, which is the typical wavelength for visible light. So this is equal to D, which is 0 0.0001 meter, convert to meters, times the sine of the angle theta, which is 0 0.02 degrees, divided by the wavelength, which is 500 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, and times 360 degrees. So that should give us the phase angle. So with the calculator, let's find out what this equal to. 0 0.0001 times 0 0.02, take the sine of that, and divide by 500e to the 9 minus, and multiply times 360, and we get a phase angle of 25.13 degrees. So the phase angle is equal to 25.13 degrees. All right, now that we know the phase angle, we should be able to find the intensity simple by using this equation right there. So we can say that the intensity is equal to the initial intensity, or I should say the intensity for a single ray, for a single wave, times the sine of n, I'll just write the general equation down, n times the phase angle divided by 2 divided by the sine of the phase angle divided by 2, the whole quantity squared. So I is equal to I sub naught times the sine of 6 times, because there's 6 slits, the phase angle, 25.13 degrees, the whole thing divided by 2, divided by the sine of 25.13 degrees divided by 2, and the whole thing squared. All right, let's see what we get when we do that. Okay, we're going to multiply that times 6, divide by 2. Take the sine of that, and we divide that by, uh, let's see here, that would be the quantity 25.13 divided by 2. 2, close the quantity, take the sine of that, and equals, and then we have to square that. And that gives us 19.78 or 19.8. Yep, there we go. So that would be equal to 19.8 times I sub naught. Okay, notice 
that the magnitude of the intensity at the center of the central max is 36 I sub naught. So this would be a little bit more than 50% of that. So it looks like we're probably somewhere in this neighborhood. And that would be the intensity that we just found when the phase angle is 25.13 degrees. And we found the phase angle by realizing that the distance between slits is 0.1 millimeter and that the angle that we're looking away from the center max is 0 0.02 degrees. And that is how we find the intensity of a problem like that with n number of slits. In this case, it was six slits, but we're going to do this for any number of slits. That's how we do that.